Okay, hello everybody. This is Mr. Benoit back again. This is our teen and adult beginner lesson. So this is designed, like I said, for teens and adults. However, if there's younger kids that want to try and do the class with us, that's fine too. We do have a kids beginner class also available on YouTube and on the, our Facebook page. If you'd rather do that one instead, either one's, whichever one is best for you guys, just pick your favorite, okay? So uh, let's get started. Monday was our first lesson. Today's lesson number two. So still going over mostly basic skills. If you guys are brand new to karate, it's a great lesson for you. If you dabble a little bit in different styles, this is a great lesson for you too, okay? Let's start with our bow in. We all come to attention. So yeah, and Kenyat, and bow. So we're going to use some Korean words with our lesson today. This is a Korean style of karate. So I'm going to go over those, um, hopefully, as they come up so that you guys can learn a little bit of Korean along with karate as well. Again, chugat means attention, and kanya means bow. All right, let's start by getting our bodies warmed up. We're going to start with 25 jumping jacks. Clap the top and slap at the bottom. Ready? And go. Hana. To. Set. Ne. Top. Yes. Ugo. Yoro. Aho. Yo. Hana. To. Set. Ne. Tase. Yase. Ugo. Yoro. Aho. Sumo. All right, down for push-ups. Now remember, everybody can do push-ups. You might have to make some adjustments, but I promise you can do push-ups with us too. When we do our push-ups, we're going to keep our body flat and bend at the elbows as far as we can. If you can only go down a little bit, that's fine. If you can go all the way without touching, that's great. If you need to, you can do it from your knees. When you do it from your knees, you want to do your best to keep your body flat. Bend at the elbows and come back up, just like a push-up from your feet. Do your best. Hopefully, you're working your arms and getting stronger. We're just going to do 10 push-ups. Take your time. Go. Hold on. Toe. Set. Neck. Toss it. Yes, it. Ugo. Yoro. Aho. Yo. Good. When you're done, have a seat. In a quiet class, we like to sit legs crossed, hands and knees. Next up, we're going to do sit ups. We're going all the way down, coming all the way up, and slapping the ground in front of us. 10 sit ups. Go. Ha. So. Set. Neck. Toss it. Yes. Ugo. Yodo. Aho. Yo. When you're done, put your feet together. Hold in close. And butterfly stretch. Nose down to your toes. Stay down. Make sure the camera can see me. I hold the stretch. Remember, you want to go down as far as you can until you get that good kind of hurt. That means you're stretching. That means you're getting stronger. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Legs apart as far as they can go. Reach up. And reach down to one side. Try and grab something to hold your stretch. Either grab your leg, grab your toes, grab the ball of the foot, whatever you can grab. If you're really flexible, try and bring your ear down to your knee. For most of us, just grab something and hold. Switch, other side. And relax. So spread your legs out a little bit farther and reach down to the center as far as you can. Remember to keep your legs straight. Don't let your knees bend. And relax. Bring them in slow. Stand back up. 
arm circles forward, loosen up your shoulders. Backwards. Side to side. Up and down. And twist. Good. All right, let's make our fighting stance. Come to attention, show ya. One foot back, hands up, fighting stance. Remember, on your fighting stance, make sure you have proper karate fists. Fingers first, thumbs on the outside, hold it nice and tight. If anything's sticking out, you might get hurt. Hands loose might get hurt when you're trying to punch something. Keep everything nice and tight. Okay, take your front hand. Actually, you know what? We're gonna start with some stretch kicks. So today it's gonna be a lot of kicking. We're gonna start with our stretch kicks. Last time we worked on our front kick with our knee bent, but snapping and kicking. We're gonna do a stretch kick today. For the stretch kick, we're just gonna keep our legs straight and swing it up as high as we can. Try to warm up our body, stretch out our legs. Again, legs straight, swing as high as you can. My count, ready? Hana. Two. Set. Try and go a little bit higher each time you kick. Net. One more. Toss it. Good. Switch your feet. Other leg now. Start out nice and easy. Hana. Two. Set. A little bit higher each kick. Net. And last one, nice and high. Toss it. Very good, switch feet. This time, inside to outside stretch kick. Instead of coming straight up, we're gonna make a big circle with our left. Inside to outside. Try and keep your legs straight, just like our front stretch kick. Hana. Two. Set. Net. Toss it. Good, switch your feet. Other leg, Hana. Set. Net. And toss it. Very good. Switch your feet. All right, this one we give ourselves a target. Put your front hand out. That's your target. Set it where it's going to be a challenge for you. So not so low that you're not challenging yourself. Not too high you're going to miss it. Somewhere it's going to be a challenge. This one is the outside to inside stretch kick. I keep my legs straight. So went out to in and I slap my own hand. Again, that's your target. Leave your target still. That's not how you stretch your leg out. Leave the target, bring your foot up. Ready? Hana. Total. If you get in the hammer, pick your hand up a little higher. Set. Net. Toss it. Good. Switch your feet. Other side. Hana. Total. Set. Net. And toss it. And bado. Chill out. And show. That means relax. Okay. If you need to do anything else to loosen up, go ahead and do that now. Real fast, I also want to make sure you're taking the time to find, find time in your day to get the workout in for yourself, right? Obviously, a lot of us here watching this are parents. A lot of us have jobs still, even when we're stuck at home. You have responsibilities you need to do. You might be busy, okay? Trust me, I've been there, I get it. If you're busy, find some time in your day to work out and do something for yourself, okay? So as best as you can, obviously, again, I don't know your situation. I don't know if you have little kids running around, whatever. But do your best to find time in the day where you can focus on what you need to do. If you're here doing this lesson, try and find time to do this when you don't have other problems to worry about. If you do have something else, like a project you're working on, something you need to get done later, worry about that later, okay? If it's something you need to get done, get it done. But if it's something you're doing later, then worry about it later. You don't need to worry about that right now. Take this time for yourself just to get your body moving, have some fun, uh, cool down a little bit, right? release some stress. Take the time to focus on what you're doing. If you're focusing on 100% on the lesson, you're going to get 100% of value out of it. If you're only giving this lesson 20% of your focus, you're only getting 20% of the value out of it. 
So see if you, you can focus entirely on this for now, and then you can worry about the rest of your problems when it's time to deal with them, okay? So today is going to be mostly kicking and skills. I'm going to start with the first one we did. We did this one back in our first lesson on Monday. Some attention, show it up. Put one foot back, fighting stance, hands up. This kick is called the front kick, or akcha ki in Korean. For our front kick, we're going to start with our knee up, and then snap and kick with our foot. So our stretch kick was with our legs straight. Our front kick, we're bending and snapping the kick. When you kick, try to extend it all the way, but keep it bent for the chamber. The chamber is just, just bringing our knee up, okay? So let me show one more time from this angle. Knee and kick. All right, let's try it. Hands up, you're in your fighting stance. Front kick, hana. And then put it back where it started. Toe. And back. Set. Net. One more. Toss it. Good. Switch your feet. I remember when you're doing your kicks, you should either be yelling or at least breathing. I like to yell when I do my kicks. Every time I kick, I yell tia or tua or aya, asa. When we yell, we're breathing out. When we breathe out, our muscles tighten and we get stronger. So if you don't have somewhere where you can do the yelling, if people are sleeping in the next room, you don't want to bother somebody else, then at least make sure you're breathing every time you kick. Okay, either yell or breathe. Ready? Here we go. Front kick. Set. Net. Toss it. And switch your feet. Okay, so one more thing I want you to focus on with your front kick. Proper foot position is everything for your kicks. Just like our hands are not really made to punch things, our feet are not really made to kick things, okay? So if you do this wrong, you can get yourself seriously hurt. When we do our front kick, we're trying to kick with the ball of our foot. That's this part, Ooh, let me see if I can reach up you guys. Right here underneath the toes. So when I do this kick, I'm pulling my toes back, but I'm pushing the ball forward, almost like I'm wearing high heels. Pulling my heel back, pushing with the ball, pulling the toes back as much as I can. That's my position for the front kick. If we kick with our toes, they're not gonna be happy. If your toes a favor, pull them back out of the way. So when we do 30 seconds front kick practice, I have Mr. Eric here with me on the Zoom call. You're gonna be able to watch either him or myself doing this as a demonstration while you guys go through the skills, okay? In fact, I got to demonstrate. I'm just gonna spotlight Mr. Eric and uh, have him demonstrate while you guys are going through, okay? So 30 seconds of front kicks and then 30 seconds on the other leg. Here we go. On your marks, get set, and go. In fact, I'm gonna unmute Mr. Eric too so you can hear him. Awesome foot position, just like that. 10 more seconds. And time, switch your feet, other leg. Ready, and go. Remember, knee up before you kick. Make sure you're snapping that foot. Notice Mr. Eric's hands are up the whole time. Got to make sure you're safe while you're kicking. Five, four, three, two, one, and on. Okay. Well done. And then I'm just going to mute you again. Okay, great. So that was our front kick. We did that one on Monday. You guys have done this one before. Hopefully, if you saw that video. Now I'm working on our side kick. I'm going to kind of build up to this one because this one's a lot more challenging with kick. I'm going to start from a neutral stance, just feet apart, almost like our chumbi stance, but with our hands up. Okay, so instead of one foot back, I'm just going to put my feet side by side, nice and easy. Our side kick is going to go out to the side, hence the name side kick. Even though we're kicking to the side, our chamber is going to be in front though. So my chamber comes in front of me, but now my kick is going to come up to the side here. So knee up first, that's my chamber then snap and kick sideways, and put it back down where it started, okay? Watch again, knee up, knees in front, 
I'm kicking sideways like so. It's called a side kick because we're kicking sideways. We also want to try and make sure our foot is sideways on this kick. Not sort of sideways, not almost sideways, but all the way sideways on our kick, okay? Let me demonstrate once this way so you guys can see. My knee's up, I'm looking sideways, and kicking sideways. This kick we're trying to kick with our heel, big part all the way at the bottom of our foot. So make sure you're pulling your foot back as much as you can and extending with that heel. If you kick with the ball of your foot, it's not the end of the world, okay? You're just losing out a little bit of power. So we're gonna do a side kick from this position. Let's do it with me, ready? Hands up, look to the side. I'm kicking with my left leg first. Side kick, two, and down. Kick, two up. Kick, two up. Kick, two up. One more, kick, asa. Now, you might be feeling this already. The side kick is a lot more challenging for the front kick, particularly if you haven't done a lot of karate or a lot of different things where you're moving your hips around so much. So, we might not be flexible enough to get the side kick as high as the front kick. My front kick, I can get over my head. My side kick, not even close. That's okay. Focus on the power and the technique, and you can slowly work on the height as we practice. So what are we aiming for with this kick? This kick could be aimed to the shin, to the knee, to the hip, okay? Any of those target areas are gonna do enough damage that hopefully you can defend yourself in a self-defense situation, okay? The knee especially, if we can get a really good side kick on somebody's knee, hopefully then they can't chase us, we can run away, get help, get out of the situation we're in, okay? So knee comes up first, and then you're kicking sideways. If it's a little bit lower than your front kick, that's okay. Just make sure it's a side kick, not a front kick that wants to be a side kick, okay? All right, let's kick with the other leg now. Hands up, side kick, tia. Side kick, two up, tia. Two up. One more kick, asa. Well done. So. One more thing I want to talk about is your eye focus. On our front kicks, a little bit simpler. I'm kicking in front, so I'm looking in front. Our side kicks here, we're kicking to the side, and we want to make sure we're looking to the side. Doesn't make any sense to be looking over this way and kicking over here. I can't see what I'm doing. Now, most of you guys are probably doing these kicks in the air like I am. You don't have a target to punch and kick like we might in a karate studio. If you have your own target, great. I don't hear. So I'm kicking in the air right now. Since we're kicking in the air, we have to use our imagination to make our target. So I'm gonna pick a spot on the wall, maybe a picture over there, maybe a light switch, whatever. I'm gonna pick a spot on the wall and use that as my reference. I'm gonna keep my eyes focused there and pretend that's where I'm aiming my kick. Now, don't actually kick anything in your living room, okay? Unless you got a heavy bag or a punching bag. So I'm looking at the wall here, that's my point of reference, and that's what I'm aiming for when I do my side kick. That way I can focus with my eyes. So when we practice these kicks, pick a spot on the wall and use that as your focus point. Make sure you're focusing with your eyes. This is a Korean word is called chi sun. It means eye focus. Repeat after me, say chi sun. I encourage you guys to actually repeat some of these words. You're more likely to remember them if you're not only hearing them, but speaking them. Again, chi sun, eye focus. Okay, so we did our side kicks one way. We did our side kicks the other way. Now I want to practice, and then we're going to try a more complicated version of the side kick, okay? So 30 seconds each side. I'm going to change the camera so we can see Mr. Eric, and he's going to demo for you guys. Okay, neutral stance, side kicks, 30 seconds on one side. When I say switch, 30 seconds on the other side. On your marks, get set, and go. Notice knee is in front, but the kick is coming out to the side. Halfway there. Keep going. Remember, all the way sideways. Don't cheat on this kick. If you need to, bring it down a little bit. And time. All right, other foot kicking now. Make sure you're looking where you're kicking. And go. Make sure yelling or breathing on every kick. 
That's also going to help you keep your wind, make sure you're not getting too tired. Although either way, it's hard work. Almost there. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, well done. Okay, so we did the front kick. We did the side kick, one version. Now I'm gonna do another version of the side kick. Now I'm gonna be kicking off of our back foot. So this is um, maybe a little bit more realistic, maybe more likely what we would do in a self-defense situation. So we're going to make our fighting stance first. One foot back and hands are up. I'm going to put my left foot back. The other foot back, you want to start with a time. Now, for our side kick, I'm kicking forward, just like my front kick. Here's my opponent. That's what I'm aiming for. So when I do this side kick, I actually have to turn my body all the way sideways before I kick out here at my target. So notice my bottom foot down here. This is my plant foot. This one has a job too. For the front kick, it can mostly stay put. For the side kick though, I want to turn that foot so I can turn my body and get myself sideways for this kick. That's our chamber, so a lot more complicated than the front kick. Front kick is easy, I pick my leg up. Side kick, I've got to bring it up and turn. That's just getting ready for the kick. Then we can throw it. So watch me, knee up and turn. Then from here, I snap and kick and do my side kick. Let's practice just the chamber first, then we'll do the kick. Ready? Back leg, up and turn. Good, and pull it back. Again, up and turn. And back. Up and turn. And back. Good, now I'm gonna try the kick. Ready? Side kick, hana. Knee first, then kick. To. And back, set. And back, net, and back, toss it, and back. Okay, other leg now. I'm gonna practice just the chamber, bring the knee up. Ready, up and turn, one, good, pull back, up and turn, two, and back. Remember, we're turning our body all the way sideways. One more, up and turn, all the way sideways, knees high, and put it back. All right, now we throw the kick. Ready? Side kick. Hana. To. Set. Net. Last one. Big chamber. Toss it. And show. That means relax. Okay. Mr. Eric is up. He's going to show the side kick off the back leg now. You guys are going to practice with him 30 seconds on each leg. Ready, on your marks, get set, and go. And go all the way sideways, just like Mr. Eric's doing. Kick with that heel, halfway. Eyes on your target, even though you're turning your body, keep your eyes forward. Three, two, one, and time. All right, switch, other leg kicking now. Ready, and go. Remember your she son. I focus on your target. I'm sure you guys are doing great on this. Keep it up. Almost there. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, well done. So we did the fun kick, the side kick. Next up is the roundhouse kick. So roundhouse kick, just like the side kick. We're gonna be twisting and turning our body. So again, if you're not used to doing karate, if you're not used to this kind of kicking, it might be a little bit weird for your body. That's okay, it's gonna take some time to get used to it. But give your, uh, show patience, let your body take its time. So roundhouse kick, we're gonna practice the same turn, but instead of bringing our foot all the way out 
in front of our body. This time, our knee is going to point at our target. So I turn my body for the round kick, and I point my knee this way at my target. That's how I aim the kick. My foot is up and back like I'm kicking myself in the butt. That's my chamber for the round kick. So watch again. I'm turning this plant foot. My kicking foot is coming up to chamber. I'm pointing my knee forward. And then from here, I'll snap and kick with the top of my foot. Some styles do the round kicks a little bit differently with the ball of foot. We're gonna do round kicks with the top of the foot, okay? Ready, hands up, let's practice together. Turn the ball of foot, bring the knee up, point at your target, and then pull it back. I'm just gonna do the chamber for now, ready? Up, and back, up, and back. One more, up, and back. Good, now we add on the kick, ready? Round kick, two, and back. Round kick, two up. And Oi. Round kick, chip. Oi. Two up. Oi. And last one, asa. Oi. Good, switch your feet. All right, other leg kicking now. Ready? Up and turn, round kick, chip. Oh wait, you know what, let's practice Oi. first. Just the chamber, turn, knee up. Good, and pull it back. Again, turn, knee up, and back. One more time, turn, knee, and back. All right, now we add on the kick. Ready, round kick, tip. Up. Round kick, two up. Up, tip. Good, last one, asa. Ay. Good, and show, that means relax. All right, so now we're gonna practice 30 seconds each leg, just like the last two kicks. Remember with the round kick, even though we're turning our body, keep your eyes on your target. So this is my target here, I'm looking straight at the camera. I'm gonna turn my body, but keep my eyes on my target the whole time. If I turn my eyes with my body, I can't see what I'm doing. Probably gonna miss my technique, and worse than that, my opponent's probably gonna whack me in the face because I'm not looking. Always keep your eyes on your target, okay? Okay. Mr. Eric's gonna demonstrate now. Okay, round kicks, 30 seconds each leg. Ready? And go. Hey. Turn your body as far as you can. Aye. Halfway. Aye. 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 Almost there. Three, two, one, Aye. and time. Okay, other leg kicking now. 30 seconds, ready? And go. Eyes on your target, she's sun. Hey. Hey. Make sure hey. you're breathing or yelling on every kick. I know, hey. to remember, a lot going on all at the same time. You're doing it hey. Five, hey. four, three, two, one, hey. and time. Okay. Great, so we did the front kick, side kick, round kick. Those are our three basic kicks in Tung Sudo Karate. Now you know a few different kicks. Now I wanna build some combinations just to practice those kicks a little bit more, get some more repetition. Remember, practice makes permanent. The more we practice these skills, the more permanent they are, the less we have to stop and think about it, which is good for a self-defense situation. And of course, we're getting sharper kicks along the way as well. So let's start from our fighting stance here. We wanna make a combination. It's going to be a block, a punch, and a kick. Three techniques. If you joined me yesterday for the fitness karate class, this is gonna look familiar. So we're doing the same blocks that we did on Monday. Low block, 
is the first block we're doing, followed by the backhand punch, followed by the back leg front kick. Real fast recap on the low block, you're starting up across your body, and then you're blocking down past your left. This block is protecting my belly. Anything coming towards my belly gets knocked away. It's protecting the side of my leg from any kicks. This is a low defense, low block. Punch with the other hand and front kick. Three techniques. Ready? Do it with me. Tia. Chua. Asa. Good. Now all three. I say go. You're doing all three. Go. And reset. Go. And reset. Go. Remember, eyes on your target. Go. Go. Last one. Go. And kyote. Switch your feet. I have front hands doing the low block, back hands punching, back foot is kicking. One, two, and three. Ready? Go. 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 Last one. Go. Very good. Go test with your feet. All right. Next combo. Now we're doing it with our high block and our side kick. So it's going to be high block. The high block comes up past my face and above my head here. I'm making that half of a roof above my head. So high block first, punch with the other hand, and then side kick. My knee has to bring me sideways, and then I snap and kick. Let's try it once slow. High block, punch, knee turn, and side kick. Okay, now fast, all three, ready? Go. 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 Last one, go. Very good, and switch your feet. Now we're blocking with this hand, punching with that hand, knee up and turn, and side kick. Ready? All three, go. 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 Last one, go. And kyote, switch feet. Okay. Last combination. Now we're doing inside to outside block. So bring your arm across your body, make that X. Block, other hand punch, and then finish turning roundhouse kick. Again, inside outside block, punch, and round kick. Here we go. All three, go. 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 Last one. Go. And switch your feet. Other side. Blocking with our front hand. Punching with our back hand. Round kicking with that back leg. Ready? All three. Go. Go. Last one, best one. Go. And sure. I need to relax. Well done, everybody. Let's see how much time we got. Okay, so three different kicks. Front kick, side kick, and roundhouse kick. That was the base of our kicking for today. Now I'm going to move on and review some of our blocking skills moving. We did this uh, last time in our front stance. 
So let's review some of those. Again, karate is a lot about repetition. So no we're doing the same stuff every class, obviously a little bit of variation every time, but making sure you're getting these skills permanent, okay? Attention, hands in, step over, chumbi yel ti. Chumbi means ready position. Again, shui ya. Hands in, step over, ready position, tia. All right, stepping forward with a low block first. Hand comes across, step, and low block. Ready, stepping forward, hana. Other side, to. Other side, set. Good, and we're just gonna back up to where we started. Remember on these, we're working our front stance, chunkul ja se. My front knee is bent, my back leg is straight. Ready? Stepping forward, low block. Hana. Other side, toll. And set. And backing up to where we started. Okay. Last time with the low blocks. Hana. Toll. Set. And butto, back it up. Okay. Next block is going to be our high blocks. Cross our body, lock up. So when we're doing the blocks, stepping forward like this, make sure you have a good chamber with the other hand. I'm tucking it back nice and tight, ready to go for the next blocks. Ready? Step forward, high block. Hana. Toe. Set. And back it up. Again, stepping forward. Hana. Toe. And set. And back it up. Last time through, hana, toll, and set. Good, back it up. All right, last block is inside to outside block. Cross your arms, when it cross your face, make that big muscle. Ready? Inside to outside block, hana, toll, set, and back it up. Again, hana, toll. Set, and back it up. Last time through, stepping forward, hana, to, and set, and back it up. Okay, well done. Show up, come yet, that means bow, and show, relax. Okay, so hopefully now we're getting a little bit of routine going. We got throw kicks, we got throw blocks. I'm gonna finish it with a little bit of stretching since we've been doing a lot of kicking today. It's usually a good idea to stretch at the end of class if you have time. That way you're gaining some flexibility after your muscles are warmed up, okay? So we're gonna do our stretches a little bit different from how we did at the beginning of class. We're gonna do it from standing position for now. So we're gonna put your feet apart about double shoulder width. Reach up as high as you can and reach down to your left side. Try and grab something and hold. Either grab your foot, grab your leg, grab something and hold. Remember, we're keeping our legs straight. Switch, other side, other leg. Try and push your stretch. Remember, you're warm right now. Now's the best time to improve your flexibility. Good, relax, reach up high, and reach down to the middle between your feet. Try and touch the ground if you can without bending your legs. If it's too easy touching with your fingers, try and touch the floor with your palm. Good, and relax. Shake it out a little bit. Okay, back to the same position. Legs double shoulder width apart. And now I want you to try and slide your feet out as far as they can go. For some of you guys, this might be a full split. For some of you guys, double shoulder width might be as far as you can go. Whatever you can do, you're trying to prove on, upon yourself. Doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. Spread your legs out as far as they can go. Good, now same three stretches. Reach down to your left side. Reach 
reach down to your right side. Good time to relax your body. Good time to relax your mind. So this is the beginning of class. I'm sure lots of you have all sorts of different stuff going on in your life right now. I know it's stressful. So try and find some time just to relax and be. Good, relax, reach up high and reach down to the middle. Should be feeling the burn your legs. If it hurt a little bit, that's a good kind of hurt. It you get more flexible. Good, and relax, slowly pull your feet in together, and let's stand back up. Okay, so on Monday, we did some push-ups. We did 30 seconds of push-ups. We're going to repeat that same challenge for today. Your goal is to beat the number that you had last time. So hopefully you remember from Monday, how many push-ups could we do in 30 seconds? Now you're gonna try and do at least that, maybe better. We'll see what you can do, okay? So 30 seconds of push-ups, remember, make them good push-ups. Doesn't matter how fast, if they're sloppy, make them your best push-ups. Ready? 30 seconds of push-ups. On your marks, get set, and go. Your arms are too tight, just hold the push-up position. Better holding it than giving up entirely. 10 more seconds. Make sure you're counting. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Okay, hopefully you beat your goal from Monday. Hopefully you did at least the same number. If it wasn't quite as much today, oh well, you'll have to try again next time. Okay. Thank you for coming out, everybody. Hope you guys are enjoying these lessons. If you would comment and let me know that you're actually doing these lessons. Let me know if you're enjoying it. Let me know if there's something in particular you'd like to see. Um, I love hearing that you guys are working out and having fun with this stuff. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Eric, again, for joining me and demonstrating these techniques. Um, we will probably see more of him in the future. We might even do a few guest instructors coming in and sharing some of their skills. We'll see what we have planned for next week. So for now, hopefully I'll see you guys on Friday for another class. Should we up? And yet, and bow. Put your right hand up. I say one, two, three. We punch in the air and yell tongue su. One, two, three. Tongue su. Class is missed. Thanks for coming, everybody.